Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Deeper in the Word podcast. This is a daily scripture and commentary broadcast developed for Emmanuel Baptist Church in San Jose, California, and shared with everyone that wishes to join us in our study of God's Word. Today is Thursday, June 20th. The weekly lesson is God's Promise to Make a Holy Nation. The scripture we're referencing is Exodus 19, 7, and 8. After Moses came back, he summoned the elders of the people and set before them all these words that the Lord had commanded him. Then all the people responded together, We will do all that the Lord has spoken. So Moses brought the people's words back to the Lord. Moses characterized what had been told to him and what he was in turn communicating to this assembly as words that the Lord had commanded him. These were firm instructions, mandates, not suggestions or options. The strength of a command is dependent on the authority of the one giving it. In this case, this was not what Moses commanded or expected. These words, denoting utterances or spoken words, originated from the Lord, the personal covenant God. No other deities of the nations were like him. He was omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent. He was creator of all that is, and now he had established himself as redeemer of a people whom he treasured. The Lord gave the terms, and the people agreed to them. We can assume they meant what they said. As their history unfolds, we see that they failed. They couldn't live up to all the expectations as legal requirements. We are to be careful in being too critical, for neither could we, neither have we, and we won't. Does that mean it is impossible for us to be a holy people? No, we are still set apart unto the Lord. From a New Testament perspective, our Set apartness is in Jesus Christ, by whom we have been justified from our failure to keep the entirety of the law. Jesus met the demand of the law for us, for Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone who believes. That he is the end of the law means that he is both its fulfillment and termination. Thus, any system of salvation that brings us into right relationship with God based on human performance is excluded. What are some lasting truths to come from Exodus 19, 7, and 8? Even the people of the Lord need to hear His word and be challenged by it. We who believe are to confirm our commitment to obeying the word of the Lord. And the Lord knows the depth of our commitment to His word. Until tomorrow, saints. And remember, every day is Sunday.